And to everyone, you have certainly seen this video. A man's neck snapped in the back of a New Haven police van. Tonight, there are calls for changes to state law. And News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says lawmakers are listening. Believe it or not, under Connecticut law, if someone gets hurt during an arrest, police are not required to call for emergency help. But that could change after this incident. All right, come on. The video is gut-wrenching. A man in New Haven police custody flies head first into a door. Roll to your right side. Instead of stopping for help, officers take him to jail. Now, Randy Cox is partially paralyzed. Randy Cox, life matters. His family demanding changes. Where is the first aid training? Those changes could come from the state capitol. This year, a bill would have required police to immediately request emergency medical services, including for behavioral substance abuse or mental health issues. But lawmakers ran out of time to pass it. It'll certainly be a priority for us in the Senate again next year. Senate President Martin Looney introduced the bill. He says right now policies are too vague. The New Haven Department, I think, already had uh, recommended procedures in place uh, that apparently were not followed in this case. But having a state law that mandates it would uh, uh, remove all confusion. Lawmakers may also require seat belts in police transport vans. The Connecticut NAACP says it's too little, too late. They knew about the situation with yeah. Freddie Gray several years ago. Amen. They watched cities burn across America years ago, Tell and they sir. didn't put those proper protocols oh. into action. Oh now, Senator Looney's bill this year didn't include any penalties for officers who fail to call for help. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.